Hello everyone, in this video we will see what are doc type in ERP Next. So if I want to explain a doc type in a single line, what I'll say is that doc types are a basic building block of an application. Now basic building block means that each doc type is a component on which a larger entity is based. Now what is a larger entity here? So larger entity is a module or an application. So we know that in ERP Next and in Frappe, we already have all these built-in modules such as we have core module, we have desk module, we have email module, and we have contact, custom, and then in ERP Next we have HR, CRM, and all these modules. So in HR module, we have several other doc types such as we have uh, employee, and then we have leave application, and then we have job opening, job applicant, and all these doc types that are present. Now next up is that doc type will always belong to a module. Now what I mean is that if I go to this doc type list over here and if I select any doc type, like let's say if I select testimonial, so you can see that we have this website module over here, that is this testimonial belongs to our website module. And then next we have is the screening questions. So screening questions now belong to this HR module and likewise we have another module, let's have a look at this one. This is asset finance book doc type which belongs to the module named assets. So this is what I meant when I said when I said that doc type will always belong to a module. Now a module consists of a multiple doc types. Now obviously doc type is a building block of an application or a module. So we can say that each module consists of several doc types. Like let's say if I go to HR module here, I'll write HR. So you can see that these are all the modules which are present in the HR module. These are all the doc types that are present in the HR module. I'm sorry. All right, so let's go ahead. Now we have a doc field. So doc field consists of the column, which consists of the data type as well as the field name. So if you have an employee doc type, so employee doc type will consist of all these fields. That is, it will have employee name, address, phone number, and date of birth, and some more information. So let's go to this one. Now this is the employee named Ryan. This is its. This is his doc type. So you can see we have we have all these different fields such as we have first name, we have middle name, and then we have the date of birth and date of joining and all this other information. Now a doc field consists of the label, that is everything you see here, that is a label. And then we have a label type, that is a data type for this label, that is employee is a data, is of type data. And then we have series, which is of type select, like we have it over here. And then we have a status of the employee. So this is what doc field is about. We also have the name of the doc field over here. Doc type follows the ORM pattern, which means that you can read, you can write and update data in the database without writing any exclusive SQL query. Now ORM provides a high level abstraction upon a relative database and also it allows developers to write a Python code or you can also write a JavaScript code instead of SQL to create, read, update and delete uh, data and schemas into the in the database. Now that is we are trying to interact with our database using our language of choice instead of using an SQL. So we have this doc equals to frappe dot get doc. That means we can read a document from backend using this frappe dot get doc. Now here we have this task doc type and in the task doc type we have the doc type name as task 0002. Now the, here is another example which I got from the Frappe documentation. So here what we are trying to do is we are getting all the doc type, all the to-do doc type which have an open status. Now next what we are trying to do is we are trying to update the status to closed. So instead of writing a query we have done it simply using JavaScript over here. Now let's Let's go take an example. So we have this library application using a Frappe framework. Now consider that you want to build a library application using a Frappe framework. Now we already know that library consists of a books and then it will consist of an author, it will consist of a library member, and we have a book issuer, and then we'll also create a document where we will be storing information about the date of the date when the book is issued and which book is issued and the book is issued to whom. So well, how will you build this? How will you build this in a Frappe? So now since I mentioned earlier that 
everything like doc type is a building block of an application so here we have this books we have a book issuer library member book issue and author so all of this can be considered as a doc type and all this will come together to build a library application now let's let's go ahead so we can see that books doc type will have this all field that is it will have book name it will have author name it will have av availability and in author will have author name and it will also have a book name as the field name and I have also taken another example of a book issue doc type which will have the book name author and then it will have issue date return date and member name so these are all the doc field which I was talking about earlier so issue date and return date is the data type will be off date and one more thing that book name is linked to this doc type that is the books you can see there's book name I have like set it same color and we also have the author name so for books whenever we'll be creating a book doc type so we will add the book name and then we'll add the author name which again is coming from this doc type so that is what I mean when I say that all the doc types are linked together so let's say if you select an issue date as a 7 September so you ad automatically want this field to be updated to the seven days later to the dates that you have selected so for this you'll have to write a custom script for the book issue and this is how this is like a very basic application now obviously there will be if you want to add more customization you'll have to add custom script and then you'll also have to add a service script so this is the example of the field now this is a book issue over here and you can see that we have a book and we have author issue date return date and member name and also this is the different data type over here that is book is linked to a book doc type and author is linked to author doc type and issue date is linked to a date doc type so this was all about the doc types in ERP next so I hope you understood everything if you have any doubt if you have any query you can mention in the comment box and we will reach back to you thank you so much for watching